Fox 7 Podcast. I am the rhinovirus, Andrew. Joining me this week is HIV, Chris. Oh, that's flattering. And syphilis, Travis. Hey, hey. kind of ironic that you brought that up. Is it, Wait, what? Is it actually ironic? Does that actually no, apply no, to something? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, it's, it's gone away by now. Oh, all right, good. It's clear yeah. that all cleared it's up for cleared you. Up. I mean, right. it's appropriate that. Should I move closer? If you want. It's appropriate that Andrew is the only one without sex in that introduction. I know. I That's thought about it. I brought it up. Yeah. Silly Christopher. Yeah. As if you thought I didn't know what I was doing. That sounds funny this week. You do. That's that's why I had the uh, the the illness the illness thing. Yeah. But I don't have syphilis, so well, that counts. I mean, it's not proven. You're right. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought. <laughs> so, hey guys. Pretty wild spring break, so. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's what I figured. Wild wild. PA. That's what I assumed. Yeah. Hanging out with Frail down there, were you? Yeah. <laughs> nice. It was such a good time. I have some stuff to talk about in a little bit after you guys talk about your stuff. Oh, yeah. My stuff. I mean, okay. like, I don't really have anything because I stayed up here in the frozen white north. And you yeah. did a fantastic. Did you watch Solo Cast? I didn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. It's actually really good. It was pretty okay. awful. I'll have, I'll have to listen to Solo Cast. No, he did some uh, awesome reviews of uh, games that are free or gold. And he put a voiceover over them. Uh, with video, and it's amazing. It's actually really good. Was it as good as Cringecast? Absolutely not, but it was still pretty good. Nothing okay. will ever be as good as Cringecast. So. Well, I mean, we had the secret unreleased podcast. That's but... true. <laughs> yeah, where did that one go? Uh, you know, that's lost on my hard drive somewhere. And by lost, I mean I know exactly where it is, but it's never coming out. So, so Chris, tell me a story. Uh, about what? Uh, stinky hobos. Inside of the airport. <laughs> we already told this story. Uh, um, can't rehash I'm stories. That I was the only stinky hobo inside the airport. Mm. So, Chris, what did you do for your spring break? I was sick all Anything? spring break. You were just sick. Yep. So you were bedridden. I'd, not quite bedridden. Uh, so you must have done something. Well, I drove eight hours downstate. Cool. I like it so far. And then I started like. Coughing up mucus. Cool. And playing cool. on the computer. Nice. What games? Uh, fuck. What games did I play? Smite. Okay. And Payday 2. Nice. Do you own any other games besides those? Because you talk I, about Payday 2 a lot. I do own so. a lot of other games okay. besides those. Just checking. Like, I actually did get Divinity Original Sin over break. Yeah, I started watching a Let's Play that. I was not interested in playing it. It's very old school. Yeah. It's RPG-ness. Not for everybody. I don't really like old school RPGs. I like new like, RPGs. Like, I'm okay with it. You're yeah. a big fan of the first um, Elder Scrolls? I mean, I've never played it, so... Oh, you need to. They're free. Yeah, I know. They're freeware. That's the thing. I don't think I'll be a big fan of it, so I'm not going to play it. But I'm like, I dig it. I mean, I got to the first town, and then I spent six hours digging through crates. Nice. Uh, As trying, you do. Trying to find fish. Because eating fish heals you, of course. Yeah. And the enemies will, like, three-shot you. Did you try uh, digging in any of the graves? Because... I do not have a shovel. Mm, you should find a shovel. I should find a shovel. Some, some exciting things can happen because when you dig in the graves. one of my people explicitly was like, Hey, we should go dig in that grave. And I'm like, where's a shovel, motherfucker? And they're like, fuck if I know. The most epic of all the quests. Find a shovel. Like, there are hammers and fishing poles and, like, prison shanks lying around everywhere. Yeah. You can pick up a halibut and beat somebody with it, but... Dude, no way. You gotta have that shovel to dig for stuff. No shovel to be found. Mm. <laughs> Just totally ignore me. <laughs> Complete silence. Um, uh, but, yeah, after I was done being sick, I had to go meet a bunch of people because my family was down there. And they were yeah. like, hey, since you're not coughing up mucus anymore... You should, like, get free food. Mm, yeah. Okay. And went to a bar one night, but it was with my mother and my <laughs> grandmother. Sounds like a while. So they were really good wingmen, right? Like, oh, yeah, totally. Hooked you up so well? Yep. And my mom got on my ass because I didn't order a drink because I was with my mother and my grandmother. <laughs> and so I ordered a drink to get her off my ass. Yeah. It was actually pretty Dad good. Ass. My comment. Thanks. It was actually a pretty good drink. You guys are just ignoring everything I'm saying. Well, pretty much. What the hell am I supposed to? We're talking about my mother, Travis. How am I supposed yeah, to? Yeah, it's a good res... topic of conversation. How am I supposed to respond to that? Like, 
I'm trying to be funny here, Christopher. If you, if you dig my Try mother, is the key then word. that's, you know. But yeah, I learned that having a drink that's four kinds of liquor and espresso and nothing else. Ew. It was actually pretty tasty. Really? Yeah. I don't believe that. I don't believe any alcohol can taste good. It was. Oh, there's a lot of chick drinks, dude. Nah. Smearing off ice. I don't know. It Tastes was like pop. Tastes vanilla vodka. I refuse to believe otherwise. Um, Kahlua, which is coffee liqueur mixed with uh, rum. And creme de cacao, which is chocolate liqueur. That was actually pretty tasty. It, it was Kahlua pretty, was good. In, in it itself. was pretty tasty. You know, I didn't actually know that creme de cacao was... A thing. Uh, like, I didn't know what it was. Isn't yeah. that a Dynasty Warriors character? No, maybe. Sounds like it. Cao Cao was a uh, Chinese general, mm. but <laughs> pretty sure. Chow. Pretty sure Cao Cao actually is a character in Dynasty Warriors. And uh, like, I didn't know what creme de cacao was. I figured it was something to do with chocolate, but creme is spelled like cream, and the rest of the drink sounded pretty much like a White Russian. So I thought <laughs> that it was a cream and not more alcohol. You know, so you get quite smashed? I did not get smashed. <laughs> but you got um, buzzed? Yeah, I was definitely buzzed. Because, you know, y'all know what happens when you mix caffeine with alcohol, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Up and a downer all the yeah. same time. Yeah. <laughs> Does exactly... Explain it to Andrew. Because okay. <laughs> he's got Blake. So, all know. I know is about upping Four a couple uppers goes. and then downing a couple downers. So, you know how it, like, the reality of logic. Okay. If you sure. were to mix an upper and a downer, they do uh, opposite things to your body, so they would cancel out, right? Yeah. In fact, the exact opposite happens. Oh. And essentially, what happens is the caffeine makes your body process the alcohol faster. Right. So, so it acts as a catalyst. Yeah. Right. So you know when this. you mix a bunch of alcohol with espresso. Yeah. Gotcha. Get gotcha. Fucked up. I like. It. <laughs> I love that I understood that analogy so much better than whatever you were talking about before. I yeah, Just bring so some bring some like math logic to me. I got makes sense. significantly more buzzed than I like immediately. I just you know, <laughs> I just take a giant drink of the thing because I'm a smart motherfucker, and immediately it's just like. <laughs> so yeah, you got fucked up. Well, it was grandma. No, and I didn't. I didn't get fucked up. That'd be too funny. After, if you had two of those, I bet you would have. <laughs> if I had two of those, it probably would have gone south pretty fast. <laughs> be hitting on the waitress. We had a waiter. Be hitting, hitting on, on the waiter. waiter. <laughs> Look, he, you do. He still was kind of drunk. feminine. Yeah, see, see, it's it fine. Solves all your issues, dude. So, Chris, do you prefer um, men or women? <laughs> Got me. Do you prefer uh, Smite over like League of Legends or Dota? I do prefer Smite over League of Legends. Is there any particular reason? Or just um, it has a very different feel to it. Yeah. Smite feels more like a hack and slash. Yeah, definitely. Also, like, I don't... You know how in, like, League of Legends, you're pretty much stuck with the uh, three-lane format? Yeah. Uh, Smite has different formats that I enjoy better. Like, I enjoy arenas better, which are pretty much just 5v5 fight yeah. fights all the time. Uh, which, I mean, Smite is still like the other MOBAs in that people really only take, you know, three-lane competitive, seriously. <laughs> but it has a different feel to it. I like, you know, spamming arenas better. It, like, it feels more like a hack and slash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's more—it's like over the shoulder action, more yeah. than like top yeah. down, like League of Legends is. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. I I'd considered playing Smite for a little it, while. Have you ever played Monday Night Combat? Is no, it, free to play right okay. it is. Like it's always yeah. free to play. Yeah. Um, so I'd consider it because I watched some gameplay videos of that and of League of Legends. And like, I like it. I feel like I would like Smite um, more, but. but I don't like RTSs. Mm. So I don't like RTSs either. That is something that happened though. Is I got a beta key to Heroes of the Storm, which is the. Uh, Blizzard MOBA that's right. in closed beta. Right, no, I was just curious. That's fair. Uh, Travis. Hey. You want to talk about your spring break? 
Well, there's a couple of cool stories I'd like to share with Dude, you guys. Dude, go for it. So, I uh, nothing really happened until I left on Thursday to go to Pennsylvania to go see your buddy Fredo, who has been on the podcast a few times before. Shout out to episode six. I think it was episode yeah, six. Yeah, it was I episode don't six. Remember. Prison cast, whatever it was. White? Politicast. No, no, it was no, no flies on cast. No flies on cast. <laughs> <laughs> you always what forget. You always call it politicast. Oh, his friend Fredo. He was on the podcast once. Oh, okay. He visited from Pennsylvania. He lives in Pennsylvania. Okay. So, I went to go see him. Well, I go... F- to the, the airport, and you know, the very first one that's gonna take me to Detroit. Mm-hmm. We're all on the airplane, we're all hunk and then sure. the, the, the captain comes on. Oh, yeah, we don't have auxiliary power on the left side, but we're just gonna, <laughs> quote unquote, we're just gonna go ahead and give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? We're gonna give it a shot. That's the worst phrasing to use in I airplane. immediately hit the button, I'm like, I need a drink. <laughs> It was like 7 in the morning. It was ridiculous. Who says we're going to give it a shot? <laughs> that's so not at all. Yeah. Like, why do you, you don't have to know Man, that. Just, if they're confident like, that it's going to work, then don't tell them. Just lie that. and be like, it's cool. We got this. <laughs> we're going to give it a shot. Don't worry about it. There's no I phalanges the, on the plane. attendants and nobody cared. Like, like everybody <laughs> Nobody like, oh, seemed oh. concerned? I'm like... <laughs> Did anybody? Maybe you just like imagined it. Maybe no, you no, didn't totally, actually hear it. I wasn't sick by that point. I was, oh, totally, okay. I was totally awake. I was totally. You know. We're gonna give it a shot. To me, it sounds like there's about a fifty percent <laughs> chance you're all gonna crash and die. Um, <laughs> but the flight went fine, and then we took the flight to um, that from- stupid fucking <laughs> door that I'm gonna unhinge and destroy. Okay, sorry about that. Minor scare. We're back. Everything is fine. Okay. We're, we're all good. So we fly in. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, the first night we just go to B Dubs with his friends and have a good time. Uh, the second day, uh, he keeps telling me we're gonna, you know, don't eat, don't eat, don't eat. I'm like, that seems like bad advice, <laughs> right? For pretty right. much any situation. He's like, well, you're gonna eat so much at, at, at dinner time. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm thinking like Chinese buffet or something like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, we go to this fantastic restaurant. It's called Nebraska Brazilian Steakhouse, and what it is is it's this really fancy place. It's like an all-you-can-eat thing, and they have a first. They have a bar up front that have all these exotic, exotic foods like quail eggs, tuna, artichoke hearts. <laughs> tuna is <laughs> super exotic. exotic. No, not like tuna fish. I mean, like you know, seared and then like cut in half, like slices, slice of tuna. Yeah. Um, salmon. I'm imagining like a pizza slice, but it's like fish instead. <laughs> it's like ew. It's kind of gross. Um, you know, palms, palm heart, that kind of stuff. It's really nice. Um, cheese and wine, pretty cool. But the best part of it is when you go and you sit down, they have this little coin that on both sides, one side says no, thank you, and the other side said says yes, please. And what happens is you can turn this coin, and there's these waiters that go around, and they have different like meats that are just been cooked, and they bring out, and they have like you know a whole piece of metal that has like a bunch of different pieces on it oh yeah one of those and it's like so no one nice. you're talking about they, yeah. go, they go up to you and they're like would you like this and so like would you like this grilled lobster tail would you like this parmesan grilled steak or this filet mignon and this and they just have so they like, and they don't shove this on your bill what like it's a, you pay a flat fee jesus and you can eat as much as you want <laughs> yeah yeah. Holy fuck. Like, yeah, I've heard about these places. I need to go to Philadelphia. It sounds fantastic. It was so fantastic. But you know the coolest part? This is going to sound f- funny after I just told you it's all you can eat meat. The coolest part is they bring out f- fried bananas. And I was like, I don't understand why they brought that out. And then I started thinking about it later. It's kind of like sorbet where it's a palate cleanser between yeah. the meats. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, that was that. Were night. they bananas or plantains? Bananas. Okay. Fried bananas. Um, so that was that night, and then the next morning, I did my very first D and D well Pathfinder campaign. Nice, and I was the main Pathfinder boss. Pathfinder is significantly <laughs> different. It's along the same lines. Please, please, just say yes. <laughs> just, just let it go. Just I yes. mean, it, it's it's just more legit than if you were trying to do like four O or five O. But I mean, it still technically is Dungeons and Dragons. But I hate people. <laughs> so yeah, I got to do, I got I was the main boss for that, and then there was really did you win? No, tell us about this campaign. I want to hear about it. Oh, was it as good as our campaign? <laughs> oh, it was better. I'll give but you I got some... punched in the face by a barmaid. I'll give you. I'll I'll say, it was like so, what happened is, I was this person that was brought back supposedly because what I told the good guy, well, the, like, so the GM and I, he he filled me on DM. this. 
No, I mean, this could is be GM. game master. The correct term is DM. It's Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. not Games and Dragons. But it's a game. So. They call it GM. Well, they're wrong. Sorry, Fritz or whatever your name is. Fritz. Was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so the lead guy um, filled me in on my part, and so I was supposed to tell the people you know who were part of it. The party. The party. I was supposed to tell them that I. They brought me back. And what happened was, like, before I died, I made a deal with Asmodeus, who is the evil god. Yep. Uh, I made a deal with him, and I found out that he, like, indirectly was going to do something that affected me, mm-hmm. like, like a love or something like that. And I disagreed to go with the deal, and it's so, like, since I went back on my word, he killed me. But then later on, um, he so found you So you passed your bluff check? Oh, yeah, I don't know in a bluff. Oh, yeah, that's cheap. <laughs> and like they, fun. They no, could, nobody they, puts points into sense motive anyway. So, <laughs> so um, well, I mean, I knew my backstory, but as you yeah, do. but you said you told these people. Oh yeah, this they, thing. They, they they couldn't they couldn't pass. Okay, to, to interrogate me, or else it would have taken away from the story. Because hold on, and so so that I got brought back to life because I was this once again is the story of telling the party. Because Asmodeus wanted me to protect um, his stone mm-hmm. and destroy the stone of the good god, Aurora, Aurori? Aurori? Yeah. I'm not familiar with okay. that one. Aurori is the good god, um, and I had to go destroy the good stone. Um, Did, do you mean Heronius? No. Okay. No. Um, and so... They thought we're gonna go destroy a stone, you know, whatever. Oh no, I, I'm sorry. No, I, sorry. I, what I told you up to this point is completely wrong. No, I, they thought I was, that to, I was supposed to protect the stone of Asmodeus, but I decided to to double cross and that I wanted to destroy the, the stone of Asmodeus. But secretly, I'm just work. I'm a half demon, half human, working with Asmodeus, brought mm-hmm. back to go destroy the stone of Aurori. So, I got brought back. And we could do this whole campaign. Some of the highlights is so it was like nothing really cool happened until um, there was one girl in our campaign, and she got put in a room with another woman who was trying to force herself upon her. Okay. And I was a badass. I got I jumped onto the boat from the dock because it was like mm-hmm. uh, it was leaving port. I jumped on at the last second. I knocked out the guy who had the key. Took his key. And um, I walked up to the door, and she's like, well, are you going to unlock it? And I said, no, I just want to listen for a little bit. <laughs> Jesus. You fucking whore. You're a terrible person. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, he is a <coughs> servant of Asmodeus. That's a good point. So, you know, then finally later on, we opened it up. Then this kid who was a 14-year-old in our in our group, he's like, um, he like, because I brought was, the boat. Was he all hot and bothered because there were two chicks? Yeah, well, to go at I brought it. the boat back to the dock so the rest of our party could get on. Mm-hmm. And they got on, and I was like, okay, I'll open the door now. So I opened it up, and he's, and then we leave shore. And he's like, so the girl's with us, right? And um, the DM was like, yeah. And he's like, okay, I'm going to roll, and I'm going to rape her. Jesus. <laughs> like, and so really? you, like, kicked this guy in real life, right? And then he rolled a one, <laughs> <laughs> which is like, which for people who are listening who don't know is like critical fail. He said, "So you try to rape her, and instead you break her hip and you, you contract AIDS." And I'm like, that, "That's way to go." So, uh, I mean, that's there, what would, you get. there would be better ways to handle that. Like, you try to rape her, but you can't get it on. <laughs> <laughs> True enough. So you still get AIDS, but yeah. and then the whole. The whole idea about, the, yeah, he's not going to hear it. So the whole idea about this was I had to kill one of the people off in the campaign that nobody wanted to be around anymore. Right. So, so like, you killed the 14-year-old? No, the 14-year-old wasn't it. Uh, it, was, it was somebody. I feel who, like he should be added to the list after he said he was going to rape a chick. <laughs> I know. I mean, well, to be fair, she was trying to rape our girl in our party. That doesn't make okay. it okay. <laughs> rape, no. That doesn't make it better. Rape multiplied by rape equals zero, right? No. No. No, that's rape not how that works. Rape multiplied by rape actually makes rape squared, <laughs> which is like... Multiplicatively Super worse. Yeah. Right. So, anyway, uh, so that was that part of it. And then later on, 
you know, they do as I need them to, and they go and destroy the stone, and, you know, I am unleashed, and it takes fucking forever for them to try to start killing me. <laughs> and so, like, you know... Or they're just like, well, Travis looks big and evil now, but I mean, I'm too, I too, he's a bug. I had too much of an AC. Oh, they okay. Couldn't hit me. Okay, so they were trying to kill you, and they they're were trying just to. failing. And, like, I was trying to kill this one guy, but I didn't want to make it seem like I was focusing on him so like i spread my hits around and everything like uh-huh. that it took us three hours oh that yeah. one fight yeah no Jesus. no that is how it goes like in my current D group we'll it was have a 10 hour campaign yeah we'll have like two fights in a night and it will take the entire night to get oh, christ it's done i mean it doesn't help that in the particular one that we're doing this i'm not playing a damaged character i'm playing a bard so my broken character isn't directly contributing to right. breaking necks but but yeah, so that was basically the highlight. We killed the guy, and then all of a sudden, I dramatically dropped. After the death of the first mortal, I dropped 20 AC, so they could quick hurry up and kill me. Oh, weird. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Funny how that works. So, yeah, that, that was that part. Um, it was fun. I'd do it again. I told them, you know, maybe I should Skype, and well, you know, I can do it over Skype. And they said, yeah, well, how will we know, you know, your roles? You're, you know, you're being truthful. I'm like, well, I can have a camera looking at where I'm rolling <laughs> dice. Or you could just, you know. Or I well, can tra- tra- since like, yeah. you're an enemy, technically... Well, I'm dead. Per- I got killed. I, in their new campaign, I started. Oh, as a character. Yeah. There are online applications you can use. Yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. Or, I mean, I can just use it on my phone. I can, they have dice rolling yeah, that's apps. True. I can, they can see on there. And it just mm-hmm. seems like cheating at that would take away the fun of it. Yeah, it does. I mean, uh, yeah, well, that's Bill just me. Frail was kind of pissed that I didn't cheat on my rolls to hurry up the, <laughs> the campaign. But that wasn't my fault. But yeah, that, that was my stream. Well, right? that's because at that point you were like a hand of the DM. And yeah. it is up to DM discretion if things are going either way too well oh, exactly or way too poorly to uh, fudge numbers a little bit. Like, I'm not a big fan of stuff like, oh, I just can't be. People can't sense my motive. But like. Well, for this reason, they couldn't do it. Or else it would have ruined the whole. It would have. But, like, stuff like, oh, I rolled an 18 on the dice. These guys are doing pretty well, and I just happened to crit on 19s instead. I guess I crit, right? Like, that stuff's to be expected. What was bullshit, though? It was so funny. The guy who was supposed to kill. Like, at this point, um, our DM had to go drive somebody to the liquor store because it was about to close. Mm -hmm. And so, like, me, the 14-year-old, and the girl were left with the guy that I was trying to kill. And he is doing everything he can to not die. Because I'm a rogue, if I go below zero, I get a chance after I die that I can't be helpless and I can still move around and heal myself. That's bullshit. That's not allowed. Just because he's a rogue? No. And then he... Go, he ro- that's, even better. that's one of the things I don't like about Pathfinder is they try to balance a lot of stuff out from 3-5. It's Path- not a real thing. It wasn't a real thing. He said it. He was bluffing it. Oh, okay. And then, on the topic of bluff, then like when I did try to go kill him... Um, after he healed himself because he had another move, mm-hmm. um, after he healed himself, uh, I went to attack him. I attacked him enough to kill him. Yep. And he he said, "Well, I'm gonna roll to bluff my death." You can't bluff. Your you death. can't bluff your death. You you can't I mean, bluff not being dead if you are dead. Right. So, if you're dead, you cannot take charisma so based still action. <laughs> Fun fact. He still died. Like, I can't. He might have been able to heal himself, but no, as, no, because he's technically he was unconscious. He was negative nine health. Yeah, that's true. But there are feats that make it so you can be conscious while you're at negative hit points. And I, but it's a feat. Yeah, he didn't have it. I and I do not recall uh, whether it's Pathfinder or Four O where healing surges first become a thing. I don't know what that is. You gotta explain it or just leave it at uh, that. What it is <laughs> just is a, fucking idiot. <laughs> a healing surge is you can use your movement action. You have a certain number of healing surges per Oh, turn. yeah, that wasn't this. Yeah. And you can use a movement action. It no. must start in 4 0 then, no. which has less dedicated healers, which would be why they would be there. And you can use a move action or a standard action. I can't remember which. And you heal a certain amount based off of your hit dice. Interesting. Pathfinder, I believe, is where action points started, though. Action points. Uh, 
you have to mess around with it more. You have to like take feats or extra classes or whatever in order to get action points. But what an action point is, is you get so many action points per day, and you can spend an action point to get an additional standard action in a turn. Interesting. So yeah, that was my experience in, in, in PA. It was fantastic. I, I'm, I'm already planning on going back and doing Burning it to the ground. Burn it to the ground. No, they already have a city in Pennsylvania that's like on fire all the time. They don't need another one. Oh my gosh, Philadelphia was disgusting. Yeah, I wasn't talking about Philadelphia, but okay, go ahead. It was disgusting. I it's believe it. so dirty and like just trash all over the place. And oh my god, you okay. know how we fill in potholes here? Yes. How they just put how we just fill in potholes? Yeah. They just put big, huge, big ass pieces of steel over them. What? No shit. Why would you do that? Well, because, you know, it's out, out of sight, don't out try of mind. Tell me it's cheaper. No, out of sight, out of mind. They don't see the Pablo anymore, so it must not exist. <laughs> no, instead you got this random ass piece of steel in That's the middle like of the two room. inches. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you yeah, feel no like, well, what the fuck? Well, it's got to be, you know, pretty thick steel to carry cars Boy. for a shit Or ton. garbage trucks and that type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it was. But we did go to a cool little sandwich shop, and it was really neat. Was it a shawarma? Oh, what? Shawarma? Shawarma? I don't know what that is. Oh, it, it didn't, it's an Indian dish? I think so. You guys don't even know your own joke. Huh. No, <laughs> we do, because it's from the Avengers. Yeah, it's not by the end of the Avengers. <laughs> because Tony Stark wants to go to the shawarma place. Because it's like a sandwich oh, shop. Oh, yeah, I do. Know. And then the second stinger but is they're not there, Philadelphia. Is there at oh, well. they're not, but... But, uh... Pretty this, shawarma this, this, is actually pretty good. <laughs> now we know I've never had it. Neither have I, but it's onion-based, so it's probably... You know another fun fact about shawarma. <laughs> All right, go ahead. The sandwich shop that we did go into had a bunch of pictures of dead, like cut up pigs in it. Oh, lovely! That like hanging from the wall because like a bit creepy. Well, Sounds no, nice. they were so proud of like the meat that they grew and they carved up there. Like they just like they grew had, it on trees and they just like uh, had had baby pigs just carved up and put into little pans and they had it hanging on the wall. I'm like. Really? That's your decoration of choice? Yeah, it's art. Well, Sandwich was great, but... Well, that's what matters then, right? Yeah, but I don't really want to be looking at what I'm eating. <laughs> this was little Wilbur before he <laughs> went into your sandwich. <laughs> I get it, because that was actually a little cartoon. Uh, yes. Charlotte's <laughs> Web. Yep. Yes. It was a book before Good job. it was a cartoon. Right. Who reads these days? Nobody. My favorite part of that book was when Charlotte died. Wow. Oh I, why does that not surprise me? I don't remember it at all. Because everybody hates spiders? Mm. This is true. Except for the people that don't. You're right. I don't mind them. They kill mosquitoes and flies and all that kind of stuff. Well, so does my fist. Some got in my trash. I'm really pissed. I had trash all over my place when I got back. Was it the raccoon that was stuck in your wall? Oh my god, what if it came back? <laughs> it's the same one. Either that or it was the dogs next door because they always get into my shit. It was me. Maybe it was a hobo. Yeah, me. <laughs> Sorry. Fucking hobo. <laughs> hobo taxi driver. <laughs> All right, you guys turn for a story. So, um, for my spring break, I did make that podcast. But other than that, Abby and I made some machinima. What? We were working on sign for oh. a few hours that week. Um, but something made me a little nervous once for just like a split second and I'm, i want to talk about it because you guys will laugh at me because it'll be funny huh. so it was on probably saturday or sunday i don't remember which but abby and i were emailing back and forth just talking about you know getting organized when we were going to meet up and that kind of thing to work on stuff at the end of one of our emails she says uh i like you so much you're the most handsome man in the world <laughs> and you freaked out you're like i don't know how to respond yeah that's exactly what happened <laughs> no she said um could i convince you to come to a movie night on Tuesday. And so at first I was like, oh, well, that's that's a little interesting. Is this, like, what does this mean? I don't, I'm so confused. And then it ended up being fine. She, uh, I like, responded, I could be convinced, but I only watch rom-coms and buddy cop movies. Because, you know, it's me and I thought that would be funny. And then she said, I'll let everyone know your preference or something. So I was like, oh, God, good. There's going to be other people here. <laughs> it made me, uh, I was sweating a little bit. I thought she was coming after you. Dude, I didn't know. <clears throat> I can't wait until she listens to this podcast. She won't listen to it. She doesn't listen to the podcast. 
Um, but it was good because I ended up like Stuart was there, and I, oh, I haven't Stuart. I haven't talked or seen to him yeah. since he left Mach Seven. So I was like, oh, that's good. He's good. Yeah, he's pretty good. Him and I were supposed to go drinking, but he told me like the day I was heading down. Yeah, you want to go drinking? <laughs> Can't. I'm leaving. <laughs> that's unfortunate. So yeah. Yeah. So shout out to Stuart. Shout out to you, not knowing how to respond to girls asking you to I don't, movies. I mean, you I know, mean, to be fair, I just don't. I would know how to respond by uh, to a girl asking you or to Abby asking you. Yes, <laughs> both. You don't know how you respond. If it's a pretty young thing, you would not saying that. I'm I'm, I'm introverted as fuck. Really? Yes. And then I was also nervous because, as a fellow introvert, I don't do well in like groups of people that I yeah. don't know. Like I just don't really like I never know what to say or what to talk about. So it was nice that Stuart was there, and then Zach, who used, used to be part of Mach 7, was he was also there. Didn't he, like, actually leave before I showed up? Uh, possibly. Because I think he was in the booth once for some Watson stuff. Yeah, he was the original voice of Watson. And, like, that was the only thing he ever showed up for. Yeah. There's so many people that have been Pretty much. That have left. But. Remem- remember Alfredo? Yeah. I do. I do remember Alfredo. Yeah, you had a personality all right. Yeah, yeah he only showed up once. <laughs> we wasted time on that boy. We did. Boy, Fucking I like how you said Alfredo. boy. Alfredo. Alfredo, man. Yeah, so that's all that really happened to me. I mean, it wasn't a very interesting spring break. I got a bunch of achievements, though, so that was nice. What game? Uh, I got it in The Witcher 2. I'm working on getting all the achievements in. Um, there was There's an achievement in that game. So to roll five of a kind in dice poker, okay? So there's a mini game. It's dice poker. You like you make a bet. You roll five dice, and then uh, then you're like your opponent rolls, and then Yahtzee! and then uh, you choose which ones you want to re-roll, and then you try and get the best score or whatever. Right. So it's like so normal right. poker except with dice. Yeah, exactly. So there's an achievement to get five of a kind, mm-hmm. and it is the most obnoxious achievement ever created. It took me like three hours. Well, yeah. You spent three hours playing dice in a video game. It was awful. It was like, I just well, I couldn't mean, do people it. People spend three hours playing dice in real life. It was like... Losing real money, so... And That's different. He's playing a mini game. And they even kept track of, like, your win-losses against a certain opponent, so... I had, like, 200-something attempts to get five of a kind. It was ridiculous. Well, yeah. So you listen that, to that... That, that is statistically that, uh, dialogue improbable. That times. Well, you could skip through it. It was fine. You can go through it pretty quickly. But I did finally get it, so I'm happy about that. Shout out to the achievements in Witcher 2. I think I can get them all except one, which is to beat the game on the hardest difficulty, which I just don't want to take the time to do. I'll, t- I'll take three hours to play dice, but I don't <laughs> want to beat the game on the hardest difficulty. So. Why would you want to do that? I, don't know. I, I played Wolfenstein and Titanfall, which are actually both really good games. I highly recommend it. I've heard Titanfall is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Frail, who I was there, he's like, it's a good game. It just doesn't have a lot of replayability unless you play with a bunch of people. Mm-hmm. It's like you have a couple friends who play it with you. I can, I can see it. But there's, they have a bunch of free map packs. Yeah, well, the season pass just became free, like, last week or something. Yeah, so. well, that makes sense because, like, you know, all of a sudden he showed, like, I went on and said, look at all these map packs that are free. I'm like, oh, dude, you have yeah. free map packs. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. But it's a fun game. It'd be cool. Like, I, I was, it was really neat. Um, and Wolfenstein, that's really cool, too. I really want to play Wolfenstein. That's actually really I need good. to find some money. Pay for it. Just mug an old lady. Good or sell some weed. Yeah. Also know, a good idea. They have a guy who owes me sixty bucks. Yeah? Yeah. What are you gonna get? What? What are you gonna get with the sixty bucks? I'm probably gonna keep the cash around and use it to buy coffee or something. Alcohol, gotcha. Skins and League of Legends. Well, no, because I oh. play Smite now. Oh right. Skins and Smite. Also I actually don't have a way to deposit my cash up here. Me and Frank is downstate. It's good to too. I know that feeling. So sixty bucks. I mean, that's not gonna be hard to go through. No, it's not. That's groceries, easily. Yeah. Now if it was like six hundred bucks, eh. you know how many tacos from Taco Bell you could buy with like sixty bucks? There was a woman for all of you wondering. Why yeah. Travis was saying, "Hey, baby." <laughs> He's actually talking to you, the viewer. Hey, baby. I mean, we have female viewers. No. Yes, we do. We could be male. So what? Are you prejudiced? I, well, yeah, that's what I thought. I, Travis has been very outspoken about his straightness. He's so. just projecting. It's fine. My straightness on the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so projective. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Masculinity. 
Protein. Um, protein. Protein. Uh, That's it. Yeah, I don't really wrap it up. I don't really have anything wrap else to it up. talk has about. It, has it even been an hour? Wrap oh. it up. It's been a about like half an hour. Wrap it up. Are you sure? I have nothing to talk about. I really don't have anything to talk about either. Wrap it up. I can talk about Heroes of the Storm. Wrap it up. But yeah, I don't really want to hear about Heroes of the Storm. I don't really I'm want not to talk interested as that. Is I don't really want to talk about it anyway. It's kind of mess. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I don't. Is that your hand gesture for wrapping it up? Macarena. I'm I'm, I'm wrapping a sandwich. All right. A shawarma? None of that now. Oh, too many cooks. Too many many cooks. cooks. (laughs) Too many cooks. Some may say that he spoiled the broth. When are we gonna get too many cooks too? The American. I want the sequel. Too many cooks will dish a helping of freedom against. Forces of evil. Tinger. All right. Excellent. <laughs> Happy about that. Uh, God, I guess that's the end. This is like the shortest podcast of all time. It don't need to be long. Yeah, that's true. It'd probably be better if we made them shorter, to be honest. I mean, maybe. But, oh, well. We need a list. Where are your legendary lists, Next week. Travis? Next week, I'll bring a list. Let's cast the Let's sequel. Let's cast the sequel. Yeah. Thanks. Can you dig it? Sweet echo. We can finally finish that one damn list. That's horribly outdated now. Sure. Yeah. All right. (laughs) Thanks for listening to the Mach 7 podcast. We went short with this week, but oh well, deal with it. Uh, Don't don't talk to our wonderful listeners like that. It'll actually be good that we go short because we have like an average listener time of like 12 minutes. It's true. That's a larger percentage of the video now. That's a good point. So stick tuned next week. We'll have another podcast. And check out our Facebook. Check out our Twitter. Check out our website. And that's all the plugging I need to do. Bye. Bye. Clowns out. Clowns out. Too many cooks will dish a helping of freedom against the forces of evil. Stinger.